the whole thing. It just, it just shut off. <laughs> yeah, the stream's back. Sorry. My entire computer just went off. Like I was in the middle of the game, the screen froze, everything froze, and I just freaked out in like horrible panic. And I was like, what is happening? And then my computer just shut off and turned back on without me telling it to. It just completely restarted and just turned back on. So I don't know if that's going to happen again, but uh, oof, they were on to me. Yeah, I was speaking the truth and, and God interfered. I was doing such a good bit about how the whole universe is a video game and like patch notes and all that stuff. And then some. then you asked... What I meant about the whole 15 out of instead of 10 thing. Um, and I think I heard, I think it was a joke I heard, but also I don't know if there's like actual credence to it or not. But I always liked the idea that there were like extra ones, you know? That there were extra, there were five extra ones that fixed all the problems, you know? It's fun. Anyway, um, so we're only going for like another hour. Maybe a little more if something interesting happens. Sorry. I've just been grinding trying to beat the end of this game. Uh, this is part two of the VOD. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It got banned. What a strange moment for the everything to shut off. But I'm back. All right. They heard me. I was really in the middle of a bit. I was explaining something. It was very fun. But all right, I'm at level 29 out of... I got to get to 40, basically. Yeah, it was a godly miracle. It says my stream's unstable right now, which bothers me. I think it's just unstable because it crashed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep exploring this... The, the world that never was. Damn, that's so annoying. There's going to be so many highlights I have to make. Oh. I wish Twitch would keep it all as one, but it won't. They're going to be separate. I wish they would give you the choice to merge VODs. Anyway. Um, I think that's the end of the whole patch notes bit. I think we've reached the limit. Yeah. Oh, man. What a good bit that was. The whole world being a video game. Yeah. It was nice. Gonna definitely bring that back at some point. It's a good one. Don't want to overdo it. You know? Don't want to be the uh, patch notes guy. The good one. It took the entire universe going, no, stop the bit. You've been doing this for 20 minutes. Stop your damn bit. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would bit again. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. We're at the end of the game. I didn't expect to get here today. I really was, I, I wasn't sure if there was another world or not. I was like, that last world, it might be the last one, or there might be a secret extra world. But no, they put all their cards on the table. This is the last world, but there's a lot of it, and I do not have the levels for it. I have a feeling we're gonna go for like a half an hour, or like an hour more, and then it's all gonna, like this is gonna be a tomorrow beat this type deal. Yeah, long world, yeah. Well, it's not so much that it's long, it's that when you die, you have to do it all over again. They're like, do the whole thing again. So I'm just gonna go until Riku drops, I guess. And then, then I do go with Sora until Sora drops, and then just keep doing that until it's over. When I get to the boss, I'm not gonna win. I know that. Definitely under way, way too low a level. But that stream drop, it wouldn't be the dream drop nightmare without something insane happening at the peak of a stream when everything was going great. The best bit, it all shut off. Mm -hmm. You no, know, I never thought I'd go on grinder, but I'm here. I'm grinding. Never thought I'd ever grind. Ah. 
I can't believe the stream got cut there, too. Like, that's the point where, like, normally I could have ended early. And now I'm like, well, now I have to go for at least an hour. And I'm like, well, even then, I'm like, it's going to be such a short, short piece. But it's a two-parter, as well. Also, I think I lost the recording. The raw recording's probably gone. So I got to use the Twitch version. Got to download it right as the stream ends, so it doesn't delete all the freaking audio. Yeah. 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 Do you know I record every single stream? It all goes straight to the hard drive. It's just full of like thousands of hours. Mm -hmm. 20 views, done. I hope it saved the VOD. Because that would suck if it was all gone. Mm. Okay, good. Normally it wouldn't it would unpublish the VOD. I guess it just doesn't unpublish if you crash. Mm. Well that's good. I'm going to die if I don't heal soon. Every time I finish the stream, I make two different VODs of it. I do one that's the whole stream, and then I do one that cuts out the little intro bit where I'm testing stuff. I don't know why I do that. It's such a waste. Such so much extra work for nothing. I don't want to ever delete anything. I'm so obsessed with like hoarding all data. It's my editing training. It makes me never want to delete anything. Yeah. Really, I should just make one VOD, but I make two every time. I make the main one. And then I make the full, it's everything, just there in case I want to use it or something. Or I lose the recording or whatever. It's like, I'm never going to use any of this. I never have time to edit. I wanted to make, like, a Let's Play channel and, like, highlights and stuff. And I'm like, I never have time to edit all that. I could barely edit the podcast that I never finish. I have recordings from last year I haven't edited. I was in the middle of it before, and then I just got busy with all the Kingdom Hearts stuff. Harley wants to take time off just so that I can edit. Yeah. I should. It's mostly just me going... I, at this point, I've gotten it down to a science where I just, at the beginning of every stream, I go, Hello! And then, like, it's me, alone -y. And then you hear a slight echo when I don't hit mute fast enough because I'm listening to it through my speakers or whatever, just to make sure it works. And then I go, all right, let's go, and then I hit the button. <laughs> like, I don't know why I need that extra minute saved every time, but I save it every single time, the whole thing, the whole VOD, just for that extra minute of me going, uh, uh, uh. Sometimes things happen, and I'm like, okay, well, that'll, that's a nice little bit to keep in there. I don't know. It's an editor thing. <laughs> it's a habit. I can't believe the whole frick. My computer just shut off for no reason. Like, it didn't do anything. It didn't say anything. Everything was frozen in place. And then I tried to use my move my mouse, and nothing happened, and then the whole thing shut off. And I was like, um... And it didn't, like, completely turn off. It just restarted. Hmm. Yeah, you could. It's mostly just the same splash screen I have at the beginning. I just cut that out and keep it for some reason, even though it's the same fucking screen for like eight months. I haven't updated it at all. I need to do that, but I never have time. I'm so busy all the damn time. I never have time to do anything. It's like, I wake up. All right, time to do a four-hour stream. All right, now I got to eat. All right, now I got to go to work. All right, now I need to sleep. All right, next. Do it again. And I'm like, but what about all the other things you want to do? And I'm like, oh, I'm busy, man. Maybe? I don't remember pressing the restart button. 
The computer's very far away from me. I definitely didn't touch the physical button. Maybe in the corner, but I'm like, I'm play I'm using a controller. I don't know what the hell's happening. My foot, yeah. My foot picked up my mouse between my toes and clicked on on shutdown. Yeah, there you go. I think my computer just exploded. I think it was just like there's too there's too many bits to handle. Too much funny. I can't handle all this all this patch notes humor that we're doing. Making all these jokes about how the whole world is a is a video game. All these great bits. And my computer just laughed so hard it shut off. It was like I can't allow him to be this funny. He's funnier than he's ever been. This is his funniest bit. Look at him. Look at him go. He's actually funny for once. Crazy. I know. I've never seen it. He's been doing this for almost... He's been going for five years. Whatever. By the way, remember how I was like, I've been streaming for three years or whatever? I've been like trying to make videos for like five. I, I recently found a photo I took when I started the job I started when I started making YouTube videos at the same time. And like, it's been five years. I've been doing this for five years. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was literally dying. Yeah, exactly. Computer was like, I'm literally dying. I'm that funny. I was in shock like a week ago. I looked at the picture that I took when I started my job and it was dated November, 2018. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, but I started making videos back then. Like recording, like, and writing scripts. And, and I was writing stuff for like a year before that. And I'm like, damn, dude. How long have I been doing this? <laughs> there's a bunch of videos on, on Baloney that are like one year ago. And there's like four of those. And I'm like, oh my god, has it really been that long? Damn. I'm really unsuccessful if you think about it. Like, I've been going for years. I haven't really gotten anything. I know. So long ago. That was right after the rewind. That was when Unis Honest just ended. Or no, Unis Honest ended in... Unis Honest was 2020. Wait a minute. What? I started... I started a low... Wow. Did I really spend two years making stuff before I actually posted it? That can't be real. That can't be real at all. There's no way I procrastinated, like, not posting for two years. I know, it was an entire pandemic ago. Yeah, because I remember when Unisanis ended, that's when I started the Baloney and Aloni channel. So, like, before that, for, like, two years, I made videos and didn't put them out. That's insane. I'm an insane person. Did I really... Oh Just shows how much of a perfectionist that I am. That it literally took me two years before I put a video on the internet. My second channel was called Baloney because it was Aloney but with a B in front of it. Um, because it was like my B channel. That was the joke. But then that channel blew up, so now that's my only channel. <laughs> So, so many people know me as Baloney. I'm the Baloney boy. My name's Balan. Now, I already said what my real name is. It's on my Twitter. Tony B. Aloney. That's my name. Don't ask any more questions. Human me's name. Not involved. Tony B. Aloney. That's my name. I'm sticking to that story. Definitely my name. Definitely don't have any other names. <laughs> it's Balan. Ah, uh, you're very off. Yeah. 
Pretty sure someone figured out my name at one point in a stream, but it was so long ago, there's no way anyone would ever find it. And I'm like, how, how did you figure that out? Do you know me? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Damn. It might happen. I might disappear again. I don't know. You know, not during the thunderstorm. I didn't lose my stream then. I've been, you know, I don't think we've had a single crash in all of Kingdom Hearts in the two Kingdom Hearts months. We've been playing Kingdom Hearts for like a month and a half straight. First time it crashes is because my computer just goes, I don't know, he's too funny. Bye bye. Damn. You got 800 channel points in the last few hours? Damn, they go by, they, you get them fast. Still don't understand how often people get them. I really don't get it. Oh man, there were like four people watching by the way when my stream shut off and then came back on. Maybe I should do it more often. They were interested for a moment. But a moment, they were like, ooh, he's back. What happened? Uh oh, stinky. Something went wrong. All right, I guess it's time to drop. Time to become Sora. I forgot to change my hair, too. Because I'm playing with Riku. I don't like my hair. Should have done that. Uh oh, too bad. I cannot get up. Yeah, Riku was too smelly. It ended the, it ended the stream. <laughs> new bit! Why did my stream end? New bit! Announce the new bit. Alright. But yeah, I'm trying to think of like when I made... So yeah, I made videos for like two years. And then I never put any of them out because I thought they all sucked. And I just kept remaking them over and over again. I was like, this sucks. Bye bye. And I was filming live action stuff too. It wasn't like... I wasn't a VTuber yet. Human me was making those videos for like two years. And then, um, he did all that, all, the, all those videos. He threw them all out. They were all useless. And then, um, Unis Honest ended. And Markiplier deleted his million subscriber channel that he made for a year straight where he would post a video every day for a year. He just deleted Unis Honest. And the day that happened, I watched the finale and I it was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just he just said do it. Just make stuff. Just put it out. Stop stop waiting and just do it. And I was like, alright. And then I did it. And I put out my videos and they were really bad for a long time. All faceless essays about video games and movies. And then I became a VTuber. And then I made a video about Kingdom Hearts when I was... I, I made like 10 Kingdom Hearts videos trying to explain the story. And then my last video, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to make the one I really want to talk about. And I made the one about how I didn't believe in Soriku anymore because Kingdom Hearts 3 made me cry. Because they, they made it. They straight washed it. And that video blew up. And then uh, that's when it got real. And then I started streaming like two years ago, I think? I don't know. It was a while ago. I started like six months after I started making videos, but I didn't stream it a lot at first. It was like a few times. I don't remember exactly. It was a long time ago. I streamed like... <laughs> exactly. I don't know. There was this thing that happened in Kingdom Hearts 3 they, it seemed like they were, in Dream Drop, a lot of people believed that they were leading up to them actually revealing it, that, that Riku and Sora are together or whatever. Like, it was a common fan thing in the forums and whatnot. And then 3 came out, and there's this scene where they forge a Keyblade that's, like, rainbow-colored, and they're, like, saving each other, and you're like, oh my god, they're actually going to do it. Holy shit, this is the greatest game I've ever played in my life. I've waited 10 years to play this fucking game. Yeah. And then, like, right after that, they do a scene 
where like they retranslated the dialogue to make it more straight. Like they literally changed the dialogue and made it seem like they added Kyrie's name a bunch and like changed pronouns to her a bunch in the English version. And like straight up like erased an entire context. Yeah. That's why I make the videos. Because that happened. And they just like were like straight up like I didn't know that. When it when I saw them, I genuinely believed them. Like, okay, yeah, he's with Kyrie, I get it. The end. And then Yeah. It's literally homophobic, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like they they had the, all the scenes with Kyrie, which were changed slightly to be more about her and Sora being together in the subtext or whatever. Like you would read in and be like, oh, well, they're, they're meant to be or whatever. But if you actually look at the Japanese version, all those lines were different. Like they just straight up changed them in the American version, like in the English speaking version to make it more like Kyrie and Sora were together. And originally it was really vague. It didn't say it was it, there were no female pronouns in it and it was it was implied that they were like old friends that were miss, like separating after a long period of time and then they just changed everything to make it seem like they were together mm -hmm, exactly so I made a video I was really pissed off I wrote like five or six videos I can't remember trying to explain the plot of Kingdom Hearts and I was just doing that because I was mad and I wanted to talk about Kingdom Hearts so the last video I made I made it in two hours I threw it together in like a rage and just put it out on a separate channel that I just made because I was like well this channel is only like I made like five videos or something like that. and I was like this channel is just where I put my bad videos and I put it out, and it got like 300 views immediately. And I had no views at the time, and I was like, oh shit. And then people in comments, I made a couple more, and people in the comments were like, you know, they, they changed the translations, right? And I was like, what? And I read all this, these papers that people wrote about how like Disney changed everything. And like, it made me believe again. Now, I don't know, now I'm on the fence. Now I'm like, it could be a thing, it could not be a thing. Up to interpretation. I'm still kind of 50 50 on whether or not it's real. Especially after playing all these games, I'm like, there's nothing explicitly gay about Kingdom Hearts. It's just like all subtextual. It's like, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, I made a really good video. It blew up. Um, I made a bunch of videos after that of different stuff. And then I made a video about Iron Mouse and it got like 50,000 views and that blew my mind. So then I tried to do more like that. And then eventually people were watching less and less. And I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to do Kingdom Hearts again. And it blew up again. It's doing good now. Yeah. If Kingdom Hearts was truly 100% unapologetically gay, it would be very good for society in general. I think it'd be very good for everyone who grew up with it for 20 fucking years saying it's gay it's gay it's gay please let it be gay and i think disney would win a lot of points for it and also i don't think a lot of people would be super pissed because they don't know what the fuck kingdom Hearts is anyway because all the conservatives aren't playing kingdom Hearts. yeah it'd just be good for society as a whole if it were and even if it isn't i don't give a shit i claim kingdom Hearts is gay even if it isn't. In spite of it not being, it is. That's why I like that friggin' Shrek video I watched a couple weeks ago. Because it was like, Shrek is definitely not gay. But they made a whole video about how, yes it is. Fuck you, it is. And the video was so convincing that I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it is. It is. It is gay. Shrek 2, gayest movie ever. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, fuck them. If they can, if they can erase us, we can erase them. You know what I mean? Fight the power. If they can use whiteout, well then guess what? We can write in permanent marker. Fuck you. You can't erase permanent marker. <laughs> I am very gullible. That is true. I don't think Shrek is actually... Like, the movie is actually a gay masterpiece. But I think it, you could make the argument. And the argument is fun. So I choose to believe it, even if it's not true. 
There is a lot of really interesting stuff in Shrek, though. There is a lot of fun Easter eggs and stuff. But I think it's just a product of so much stuff in the 2000s had a thing that's gay as joke. Joke is, they gay, ha ha. And I think it, now that those all exist, we can just point at them and go, yeah, they are gay. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, the argument wasn't that Shrek is gay. The argument was that the movie itself is a gay masterpiece. That it's subtextually, like metaphorically about the being gay where they talk about like the the that that they use um like Fiona's tra Fiona's transformation into an ogre as like a trans metaphor um well no there's a couple um the ugly stepsister is pretty pretty trans coded um also um Prince Charming does love her. So that's a little on the gay end, but not super. Uh, it's in the in the ballpark. Uh, Puss in Boots is canonically bi. I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, I'm saying it. Puss in Boots is bi. He, he talks about how hot dudes are all the time in those movies. If you pay attention, like he says, oh, that dude's dreamy, this guy's hot. Like every chance he gets, he says that he likes dudes. And he likes the ladies. Like it's a fact. It's not a made up. He says it all the time. If you pay attention to the movie and you look for it, you're like, oh my God, he did say that. And like, it's supposed to be like a joke. But yeah, it, literally he does the J slide. Like the whole movie, like all the movies. Not so much in his new movie, his personal movies lately, but he did do that a few times. So there are gay characters in the movie. Like, like, or like characters you could read as gay. But I don't know. There's this big thing about gay characters where for generations, all gay characters weren't allowed to be on screen because of the Hayes Code. You literally weren't allowed to show gay people unless they were the villain. They had to either die or be the villain in order to exist in the media. So they created an entire language. Um, I don't think they use that at all in the story. Um, apparently they did mention that, um, that she was supposed to turn into a Pegasus and they, they cut it out for time. Apparently in the original thing, Dragon was supposed to be a Pegasus and show up. And she just didn't, because the potion makes them hot or whatever in Shrek 2. Um, so she was supposed to be a Pegasus and he was supposed to be a horse. Uh, and they just never got to it. Um, but I don't know if there was anything they did with all that. Yeah. They are monsters. I want to see more of them in the next movie. I can't wait for Shrek 5. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. The Shrek Cinematic Universe is in full swing because of Puss in Boots. It's a thing. I wanted to make a whole video about it, but then Kingdom Hearts started popping off, so... No Shrek MCU, the SCU video. I don't even know what I would say in that essay. I'd be like, hey, guess what? Shrek Cinematic Universe, it's a thing. Yeah, Shrek 5, the re You know they've been writing that movie for like seven years? I go to IMDb, and on IMDb they show like what movies are coming in 10 years like what's what's slotted to, to be made in like what's what they're working on currently like yeah. spec scripts and stuff like that's all on there hey. Hey. so like yeah. i saw a mention of shrek hey. 5 in like 2014. Yeah. 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 they've been working on it forever yeah. Oh. Yeah. so i have no idea what it's gonna be yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah exactly it's either gonna be the greatest thing we've ever seen or the worst I think Puss in Boots 2 was awesome. So maybe Shrek might not suck. If it's the same team, it'll be good. I think 3 is okay. I think it's got a lot of problems. Not as good as the other ones. It's fine. You know? I think 4 is way better than 3. I think 4 is actually really good. I mean, it's not as good as the first two. One is, is amazing. Two is the best movie ever made. 
So three is just like, okay. So hopefully five will be amazing. I mean, there's no pattern. It's literally like, okay, it was a really, really good movie for the time. Oh, it's the best movie ever. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's slightly better. And then nothing for like years. And then the Puss in Boots movie was like, okay. And then Puss in Boots 2 was like, everybody's like, it's too good. What else can they say about Shrek, you know? We haven't had an absolutely shitty one, so maybe that's what 5 will be. 5 will just suck. And they'll be like, oh, there you go. It's good, good, bad, good, good. Yeah. It should be good. It's more like great, incredible, okay, good, okay, pretty good. <laughs> That's the order. But yeah. At least in my opinion. Speaking of Shrek, though, yesterday, like two days ago, I watched somebody play... That Someone released all of Shrek on Clone Hero. So you can play the entire movie on Guitar Hero, like with a Guitar Hero controller. The entire movie plays, and then you play the background music. Someone did that for Shrek 1. And I saw someone stream, like a, a compilation of a stream, and I'm like, that, that looks fun. And I'm like, I should get Clone Hero. I used to be really good at Guitar Hero. I haven't played it in years, though. That could be my true bard instrument. It's on the list. It's on the list of things. I gotta do all the other things I wanna do first. I wanted to do a rock band month where I hook up my old 360 and get rock band to work. And I play all of the campaign of rock band for a month. Um, and then when I beat it, go and play Clone Hero. Um, but I still want to do a D&D &D thing. Too many things. Too many things. You will impale me with a trident if I don't. I'm going to do it. I have to do all the other months I've thought about doing. It's too many months. Not enough time. That's why I did seven shows a week before. I right? do seven different games. Because I have so many things I want to do and not enough time to do them. I don't know if I could go back to doing seven shows a week. Like seven completely different games every week. I don't know if I can do it again. I think it burnt me out. I like, I really like doing everything the same for like a month. It's nice. It's safe. Feels nice to just sit down and just play the same thing I was playing yesterday. Like, it's like doing a marathon, you know? When you have to set up, like, eight other games and, like, hook up equipment and then, like, test things and then they don't work and you're like, fuck. And I did that for, like, 130 days straight where it's like every day you gotta set up a new thing. It's like, ugh. So much work. Exhausting. Yeah. Damn, several tridents? Man. Cool. Are there other names? So the pitchfork is that that's two, right? And then a trident is three, and then a fork is four. It's a mega a mega fork. A great fork, you could say. Um a pentident, I think that's five. Um No, that's that's six. I don't know. Do they all have names? They should all have names. One is a spear. Or a javelin. It depends on if it's smaller. A small one is a javelin. A long one is a spear. A bladed one would be a blade. I know things. I think a pitchfork is two. I'm pretty sure a pitchfork is two prongs. But I like the idea that a four prong trident is called a great fork. <laughs> yeah, it's called a pitchfork because it's a, it's like a pitch thing that you that like the thing you use to determine pitch, that like two prong thing that you smack against each other. It's that, but it's yeah, but it's big. <laughs> a really short one is a knife. Yeah.
But yeah, great fork. I want a great fork. I gotta make a D&D that char a D &D character that, that, ca that wields a great fork. It's just a big trident, but it's got four thingies. Great fork. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> Man. The world that never was is great. I'm really just wandering around killing things, huh? I should probably do the story, but I'm scared. I'm not very high level. I'm just flying around, hitting things. Mindlessly now. I really should do the story. I'm just so scared to do the story. I'm not ready. I'm level 35. Oof. Uh. Where's, I need to find a save. I want to see what the recommended level is. Where am I? Where's the save? There's a save around here somewhere. Oh, man. But yeah, I've, I guess I've been doing this for a long time. I don't think about it. But yeah, uh, oh yeah, we were talking about month ideas. I got so many ideas. VR month, FNAF month, FNAFtober, definitely doing that. Uh, rock band month, uh, DD month. Christmas, do the 12, 12 days of Christmas and then take off after. So I have Christmas off. Still doing that. I did that last year. I'm doing it again. 12 days of Christmas. You do the first 12 days of December and then you're done. So you can take a break and enjoy Christmas for a month or whatever. Come back in January. I want to do a Valentine's Day like, dating sim. I had a lot of fun playing that one dating sim, How to Fool Boyfriend. <laughs> a very gay blade is an axe. <laughs> You're just describing weapons. Is it because it's all curvy? It's not straight, that's why it's gay. <laughs> yeah. Man, circles are the gayest thing there are, huh? <laughs> this is no, there's no straightness on them whatsoever. Alright. I have to fucking do something now. I'm level 38. Where the hell is this save? I can't find the save. How do I leave this place? I can't... Okay. Map. Alright. Up through there is the exit. I have to destroy a wall. I don't want to because it's going to continue the story. And we're, we're getting close to the end of the stream. And I want to save it for next stream. So I'm going to go backward to the save and see what level we need to be at. To beat this. this is grinding time. You can see a gay person wielding an axe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh. What is the gayest yeah. weapon, you know? What do it be? What do be gay weapon? I can't think. A uh, frisbee? Because we've established that circles are the gayest thing because they don't have any straight parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, maybe. I hear thunder in the distance. That's not good. Oof. All right. I have to be level 38. I am currently level 35. Chakram. Yeah, there you go. That's why Axel wields them in this game. Chakrams, the gayest of weapons. You got to flap your wrist around. You got to swing them around. You can hit multiple enemies. Throw them around. 
Yeah, it works. Salvation. That's a cool move. Restore some of your health. Oh my god, I need that. Give me that. How, what, uh, I bet it takes up two slots. Let's see. Battle yo-yos. I think someone does have one of those in a game. I can't remember, but I feel like I've seen a battle yo-yo before. Alright, I have to try this salvation move, but... I think Sora can level in the in you know, the first 20 minutes of a stream and be able to beat the game. Riku, on the other hand... Oof, I don't know. Well, there you go. I never watched Hunter x Hunter. I've heard so many things about Hunter x Hunter. Never seen it. Like, I say that I've seen animes, but like sometimes I, I don't feel like I've seen enough. Anime is the only medium where you feel like you have to see a bunch in order to say that you've seen it. Yeah, I know. I've heard of the villain. I've heard the villain is like uh, even like a really messed up Joker. Really a creep, creep Joker, Joker creep, creepy clown man. Oh, that's awesome. I'm using that. That's a good one. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, he's like a super creep. Super creepy. He's a super creep. He's super creepy. But yeah, um, for some reason, when you mentioned Hunter Hunter, I just thought of Soul Eater. I love Soul Eater. It's so good. I haven't seen it in years. I gotta watch it again. That's the problem. I end up re-watching anime too much. Hmm. Even in the main though. Alive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big Soul Eater fan. I like that. It's a good one. My favorite anime is like Dead Man Wonderland and another. Another, I love another so damn much. I gotta rewatch another. Damn, why do I keep remembering all these anime? I still gotta watch fucking JoJo. Do I do it? Do I watch it tonight? JoJo and all its terribleness. Try to get through it and like it. I'm really trying. Ooh, yeah, I've never seen Fire Force. I've heard a lot about it. I haven't seen it. Sounds fun. Firefighters, but they fight demons. That sounds dope. No, no, no. I really, I think I might really like it. There's only a few of those kinds of shows. You know? It's only a couple. Nah, I, I'm a wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I wanna I wanna see it. I, I don't want spoilers. No spoilers. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I have a spoiler thing. I have a friend that does not care about spoilers. He's just like, yeah, spoil it for me whenever I'm talking about a show. And I'm like, why? Why you know? Why you know? Why you know care about narratives and surprises? And I'm like, I fucking, I care big time. Spoilies are kind of important. It's so rare for me to be surprised in media in general because of all my film training. I know too much. I can turn my brain off and not think about it, but like if I if I'm not enjoying a movie, I can immediately tell what's gonna happen. Well if it's a fun fact, sure. But if it like changes the context of the story. If it's a if it's a thing that'll make me want to watch the show, then maybe yeah. Yeah. I weirdly want to finish Black Clover. Yeah, don't, don't tell me that. 
That's another show I watched that everybody's like, Black Clover sucks. And then I watched it and I'm like, I like this. And I watched like the first two seasons and I'm like, hold on, man. Oh yeah, you can spoil Soul Leader. I don't care. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Fire Force. I'm like, I haven't even seen Fire Force yet. Don't spoil that. You can give me a, a just to hold you off. You can give me a Soul Eater spoiler, just to slate your spoiler thirst. I haven't seen it in so long. Wait, it spoils both. What do you mean? How does that work? How can you do that? Now just say it. I don't care anymore. Just say it now. Now I'm like, just tell me. I'll try to forget it if it, it's if it ends up losing. Yeah. Okay. Who am I talking about? Like, I'm never even going to be able to watch that show. Anyway. I act like, oh, I'm going to see all these yeah. animes. Totally. Yeah. Totally yeah. going to see it. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What? Huh. No. That can't be true. Really? No. Well, now you made me want to watch it. Now I'm like, what? There's no way. You're just messing with me. There's no way. You, you're just lying. You're just trying to get me to watch it now. There's no, there's absolutely no way that that, that, what? How? What? No. Fuck. God damn it. I don't want to watch this damn show. I know you're lying to me, but I'm going to, uh, I'm about to drop anyway, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Cool. Huh. I had no idea. I don't even know how that's possible. I've, I haven't seen Soul Eater in so long that I wouldn't even understand how that would work. Now I want to do a double feature. Now I want to watch them both. I hope it's not going to be like Promise Neverland where it's this awesome show and then everybody says the second part is awful. And I'm like, ugh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Now I'm like, I don't know. There's some yeah. facts that are so insane that when you tell them to me, I'm like, All right, is that true? That doesn't sound true, but it could be. Anything could be true. Super hyper gullible. Yeah. Omega gullible. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. I was like, that part's a joke. There's no way. Alright, um... I got a new ability. I want to try it. Dark Splicer. Stop an enemy in his track and warp around and pummel it. Hell yeah. Dark Splitter. It's called Dark Splitter, Dark Splicer. Yeah. The coolest thing about it was that the manga was in black and white, but the only color in the manga was red. Which is like, that's dope. That's a dope way of making your, your shit stand out. Like, whenever they put color in it, it was red. And that was it. I heard that was the thing. I don't know. Are mangas only in black and white? Now I don't know. Now I'm like, am I second guessing myself? I could have sworn I heard that was the thing. Are mangas only in black and white? God, I don't know. Maybe they made a color version that had red in it? God, I can't remember. It's so long ago. Oh, that's dope. That's a dope move. Oh my god, it recharges so fast! Ah, okay. 
Yeah, so I think Soul Eater did um, everything was black and white, but then they would do red. Like red was colored and then nothing else was colored. Pretty sure they did that. I don't know if it was like a specific issue or if it was like every issue, but I've heard that there was a not a big ma mango man. I don't read. You know this. I can't. It hurts. I wish I could. It hurts to read. You can watch 20 episodes of me not being able to read. I hate reading. It's such a good show. Gotta bring it back at some point. Cool. I think that's a cool thing to do. It's a smart business decision because it's like you don't have to pay for all that ink. Oh man, I don't know what's through this door. Could be the end of the level. Level 31. I'll go grind them. Welcome to the grinding stream. The first half of this stream was all about beating up that chicken, and now it's all about grinding, baby. Grind. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Like, a, like a god would have color and no one else here. That's cool. One Punch Man did a lot of stuff like that. They would do, like, crazy art style stuff. Or like so many people talk about how Homestuck would like have flash games randomly in it. Multimedia. Pretty cool. Original idea. Ooh, that's, that's like some Kirby shit. Recently, I watched a video about the lore of Kirby, and holy shit, Kirby has insane lore. So insane that part of me kind of wants to do a Kirby month at one point. Because, like, oh my god. Yeah, Kirby, did you see the recent thing that maybe Kirby is straight up, the, the villain Kirby fights is a bad Kirby? Yeah. In the, in the recent game, there's like a super big lore drop that's happened. Where the bad guy that's been in all the Curry, Kirby games, like behind the scenes, is like this dark eldritch god of like negativity or something, of like bad energy or whatever, or dark energy or some shit. And that, it, it, and when the, you fight it, you fight it being, you see it being born, and it starts out looking just like a Kirby. Basically, a lot of people think that Kirby is secretly an Eldridge god. Apparently. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how any of it all works. But they never explain where Kirby's from. But then in the super deep lore, there's all this crazy shit about like Eldridge gods and shit. And it's like apparently Kirby is like the god of of like happiness or something. I don't know. Kirby's weird. Kirby's got some deep lore. I'd love to know more about it. Well, I didn't lose any progress, so that's good. Welcome to the stream where we just talk while I beat up bad guys. This is just a podcast at this point. Yeah. Mm, maybe, yeah, like Kirby took the form that they took to be the opposite of it or something. I don't know, it's a whole thing. I would believe Kirby to be an Eldritch being. I wouldn't be surprised. Kirby's weird in general. I mean, really all Kirby is is just like... It's nonsense, like every game is completely fucking insane. Yeah. Every game in Kirby is just like balls to the wall insane. I only played like one Kirby game a lot, and it was um, 
It was the, the mirror one. I've heard that's that was like one of the best ones. I played that one on Game Boy uh, when I was younger. Kirby and the Magic Mirror. I love the shit out of that game. That game was great. And I think I played the original on like an emulator at one point. I might have even played it on stream for a minute. Back when I used to do retro games. Damn, that's another good month idea. Retro month. Where I just play my NES. Because I have my my emulator box thing. Damn. Yes. Is that a thing? You spare the first enemy? Like I said, I don't know enough about it. I just saw one lore video and I'm like, damn. Kirby beat. Deep franchise. That's what I love about video game stories. Like they're all made up. They're so fucking nonsensical. Ah. No, I never heard of them. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I just saw one video recently that came with recommends. I'm sure it'll it'll give me more Kirby stuff because I saw that. I think it's because I watched um, Unraveled back in the day, and there was a Kirby video, and I watched it like three times. Cool. So many creators. I found a new guy a few days ago that does Guitar Hero, like Clone Hero playthroughs, and oh my god, I love it. Because I knew Clone Hero was a thing, but I didn't know how detailed it was. It's crazy. Cool. Aw, oh, that's nice. Kind of like um, how... Um, what's it called? Uh, Weary 101 has Chatbot. They have like a little robot that can speak in its chat. Waddle D with lips. Man, that made him, immediately made me think of Vulo. I still haven't watched Vulo. What the hell have they been doing? I haven't seen them in so long. I'm like, what are they doing now? I miss them all the time. I forget about them. Like, Wait, but Vulo. I always forget about them. Just popped them in my head because you said lips. Because they have the celebrity guests and it's always just like the same lips on, on every character's mouth. You ever seen Vulo? You should watch Vulo. I have a video about them. I think I have a couple of videos. Right now. You should watch their talk show. It's great. Yes. That's exactly what it looks like. So, I. Okay. Last thing to talk about before the stream ends. I guess, since I'm here and it's, I've been doing this for four hours and then the stream cut out at the end, like half, like over halfway through. Um, I've been thinking about the D&D month. I think I figured it out. I want to run it by my one singular chatter. <laughs> I know, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say, it's only been an hour. Yeah, for this part. This has just been grinding. If I keep going, I'm gonna have to do the story now. And I wanna save it for tomorrow so we can actually beat it in one stream. I don't, you know, sometimes streams should end at a certain, it, technically when my stream cut out, that's probably when it should end. I am literally crazy. I know you keep saying that you're a figment of my mind or whatever in the lore now. That's fine. I already have imaginary pals. You know? Hat on a hat, really. How many levels of insanity can a person have, you know? How many layers deep can they go? It's like friggin' Moon Knight over here. Is he in the asylum or not? I don't know. I know. I know. I know. 
I don't know if you're trying to see if I'm gullible enough to believe it or if it's just a fun bit. But sure. Sure, man. Sure. You're not real. Sure. Guy. You're in my mind. Are any of us really real? <laughs> Who knows what's real? According to all the algorithms, all the algorithms seems to think that I have schizophrenia because they keep giving me ads for it over and over and over again. Uh, because I'm talking to myself in a room for four hours a day with no sound. So they just think I'm, they just think I'm nuts. They just think I'm fucking, all these different, like, mental disorders keep getting ads for. Over and over again. Because they think I'm crazy because the ad bots... <laughs> Uh, keep hearing me talking in a room for four hours straight. I don't know if that's... I still believe that. I believe that your phone is always listening to you. 100%. That sounds crazy paranoia, but I 100% believe that your phone is always listening to you at all times. There's too many coincidences I catch where I'm like, oh yeah, they were, they were listening. Because it says in all the apps, if you read the terms of service, it says that you're agreeing to let them use all your data. Like, they're, list they're recording everything, and then they put it through a filter, and then they sell that information to advertisers. So they know when you say, when you say key words. So they can send you ads for those key words. It's fucked up, but it's real. Um, but, like, legally speaking, they can do that. Exactly, because you're saying. <laughs> I think it's because you say things by the phone that are that you don't really want or something. Or you're talking about something. Like they, I know, I can tell sometimes when what ads I'm getting, or like where the ads are coming from. I'm kind of pissed. It feels a little homophobic because I get fucking HIV ads every goddamn day, and I'm like, motherfucker, stop sending me these ads. Stop sending me. I, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you assume. Stop it, okay? Stop sending me these damn ads. Where it's like, check this HIV medication for you. And I'm like... <sighs> weird. Very weird. Sometimes I like to imagine what the ad box think I am. And I'm 100% at this point believing ads think that I am a trans man. Based on the ads I get, I'm pretty sure... The advertisers think that I'm a schizophrenic trans man. And you know what? Good for them. <laughs> Inclusive. <laughs> yeah, it's insane how long it gets sometimes. I don't know. The, the crazy thing was, when I used to use Instagram all the time, Instagram was ominously good at it. Instagram was, like, insanely good at ads. Um, but I don't even see ads that much. But when I'm on, like, Hulu, I've been watching a lot of Hulu lately, because what we do in the Shadows came Um, and Hulu is, like, fucking non-stop ads, and it's like, ugh. Yeah. Hulu will be like, you have to turn your ad blocker off. You have to green light them or whatever, it won't work. Hulu sucks. I don't even know why I, I don't usually use it. I keep it because it gives me HBO for cheaper. Mm. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just pay for Spotify. I'm a grown up. I spend money on my apps. But I refuse to pay extra for Hulu. I barely use it. The only reason I even still have Hulu is because... There was a deal a long time ago where you could get HBO and Hulu together. And I got grandfathered in, so it's like way cheaper than it should be. So I just keep it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a very, very specific budget. It's mostly streaming services. I have like all of them, except for like two. I don't have Apple and I, I haven't tried Peacock yet. I'm scared to try them. Because I'm like, I don't want another bill. I don't want to pay another fucking eight dollars for something. I get emails like every day and they're like, hey, Disney Plus is going up 40 cents. Netflix is going up two dollars. 
every fucking two weeks. It's like, here's another app that's more expensive. Good luck, nerd. Cables are coming. Cable Mark II. Here it comes. Pay $200 for five TV shows. Here it comes. Thank you. Hope you enjoy. Um, and I've already forgotten what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> so many things. But yeah, the ad companies, they listen to you all the time. They know, they know everything. They suck. I hate them. Mm. Yeah, I... I don't want to admit to anything, but uh, hypothetically... <laughs> uh, pirating. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> I uh, ooh. I'm subscribed to a very specific website for actual money that gives me all the anime for like six bucks. It's not a not a reputable source. We'll say that. <laughs> yeah. The fact that I think Crunchyroll is so bad that I literally pay at an evil illegal corporation five dollars to give me all this stuff in one place. Like, they're literally just stealing it, and then they have a subscription that you pay, and you just get all the shows in one place, and I'm like, yes, please. Yeah. I go to this website, it's called Watch Cartoon. They got everything. And I actually paid for it. If I want to watch something animated, that's where I go. Mm. So many parody sites. So many pirating sites. Sometimes it's just easier, you know? Sometimes it's just easier. I used to have a little box that my uncle gave me a long time ago because he was a big internet pirate. He was like a super pirate. Um, and he gave me this little box and the box had like apps in it. It was like a bootleg cheap knockoff tablet thing that like it was like a little box you could plug it was like a fire stick but like off brand and he like modded it so it could basically search every torrented website um and sh give you every show for free it was awesome it stopped working at one point and it was so cool yeah that's that's how i did it too so i used to have one for anime when i was in college and then i had one that was this box, and you could just look up any show, and it would give you every single link on the internet that you could watch, without any possibility of getting viruses or anything, because it was a separate device. It was like super secure. It was crazy. It was like he handed me like a golden ticket. Like that thing could play anything. It was awesome. I watched so much stuff. Hmm. I never looked for Flatland. I wonder if you can even find it anywhere. It's probably on like YouTube or something. Huh. Is it actually animated? I don't know if they actually made it. I thought it was like a thought experiment. Oh. Hmm. Damn. Sometimes on the sh on the sites I'm on, you'll end up finding like pilot episodes. Like I saw the like. I saw like three different variants of Last Airbender, like the pilot. Or like the original Adventure Time pilot. Or like Steven Universe had a different pilot. And they're really interesting. You can find them. Someone found it on like a DVD or something and then they put it on the website. Shit. But yeah. The ad people, they listen. They listen to everything you say. At all times. Snowden taught us this. Don't you remember Snowden? He taught us that we were all being watched at all times. And he gave up his whole American citizenship for it. Yeah. The whole thing was better. I love all the characters way more. I just thought it was a way better show. Like, the original pilot is fucking awesome. Like, I love that David Bowie style. Like, they really dumbed it down. Like, she had to make some fucking compromises to get that shit out. Steven Universe is a weird show. 
recent, like a while back, I watched Future and I was like, this is so way good. Like, it doesn't deserve to be as good as it was. Yeah, that stuff was weird. Yeah. I don't know, there's some really good shit in Future. Future is incredible. I really like Future. The whole, top, the, all the stuff about trauma was fucking awesome. I think the original show is gets good by the end, but in the beginning it's kind of whatever. I think it's a fun little show. But I think the future, like, they fucking, they went hard. <laughs> There's some good shit in there. Yep. That part was cool. All the, like, gay rights stuff from Steven Universe, I'm like, hell yeah. But then there's a lot of weird shit behind the scenes I've, I've heard whispers of, but I don't know anything about. And I'm like, yeah, it's a weird show. It's got a lot going on. There's a lot of people hate that show, and, like, there's a big fan base, and it's, like, got Undertale vibes where it's like, you don't know what the hell to think about this thing because of the people that watch it, and you're like, there's all this weird stuff going back and forth where it's like, I don't know. It's all weird. I made one video about it, and it was just... The title was just... On the thumbnail, just said, Pain. It was a picture of Steven Universe Future. I cried. I cried so hard watching Steven Universe Future. It really resonated with me. Something about it. There's just something about the... The complex trauma he had to experience. It's very fascinating. Yeah, it's true. There's a lot of weird stuff in that show. There's so many criticisms that could be made about Steven Universe. I think it's a good show, but I do think there's a lot of things that are like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Stevati is very fucking weird. The entire concept of fusions being like dating, like like a metaphor for like gay relationships just kind of breaks down once you have Steven able to do it. You're like, this is weird. This is weird. Don't do this. Why? Why? Yeah. I don't like that either. I don't like any of that stuff with the... With it. It's... it's There's a lot. There's a lot of that. Steven Universe. It's, uh, it's a thing. I just... I really like Future. I thought it was a fun show. That's all I really want to say about Steven Universe. Future is really good, and everybody should give it a second chance. But anyway, I rambled incoherently and lost track of what I was trying to say while I slowly went mad, just killing enemies over and over, trying to finally grind my way out of this damn game. Hmm. What do you mean? Like, they just became her for a while, or...? Or like, oh, you mean like not a person, like as, like she would have been like a weird monster, like the other ones. Maybe. I don't know. I think the whole concept is kind of weird. I don't think he should be able to fuse with humans. I think that's just dumb. Yeah, exactly. Steven's only like half human or whatever. So like, and sh I don't think a human should be able to give up their life essence and merge with a alien. <laughs> I think that's weird. I think it was cool because it was like, oh, let's take Dragon Ball Fusion and just make it slightly gay. All right, cool. Yeah. I don't think it should have been a thing at all. Really. I think it's weird. I think at first it starts out as just a Dragon Ball Fusion knockoff, and then they're like, oh, but what about Garnet? It's like a metaphor. And then you're like, okay, I get it. Don't have anyone else fuse now. Just, you can have the weird polyamory fusion, whatever. That makes sense to me, sure. But like, I don't want humans to fuse with aliens. That's weird. I don't know. Call me specist, but... 
It just falls apart the narrative of the show, I think. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I was talking about how I wanted to do the D&D show. I figured it out. I cracked the code. Here's my idea. I do one show at a time. The beginning of the, of the stream is me saying, hey, all the characters are introduced. They all get to say, like, a, like a fun fact. Then we do a game of D&D for, like, two hours. Yeah, that's weird, too. Uh, and then after the D&D, um, I do a post-show where I get to chat with people about how the show went. And we just kind of chat while I make, I prep for the next game. That's the idea. So when people come in after, like, three hours or whatever... They don't have to just watch me play d and I'll do other stuff. I'll make maps or create characters or props or prep or read um, what the next part of the module is going to be or whatever. We're going to do the Kingdom Hearts thing. We're going to like roll for what the next Disney World is going to be and then make an outfit for the guest character. It's going to be cool. I'm excited. I hope people like it because I don't know. It might be too confusing. Because, like, if people miss the beginning, I don't know how I'm going to clue them in. I don't know how I'm going to interact with people with, like, chat. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to, like, talk about stuff. That's why I want to have, like, a post-show for, like... So, like, during the D&D game, the audience will have input. But, like, I don't know if we'll respond all that much. Because I don't want to ruin the show with, like, talking to the audience for two hours. Because that happened in the original show a lot. And I'm like, I don't know if I want that. That's why I said, like, there's going to be, like, two hours of D&D, &D, like, an hour and a half to two hours of D&D, &D, and then a post-show where I just chat with people while I make stuff. So we can still all chat and have, like, D&D, &D, you know, have a stream chat and interactive audience and stuff. But, like, the shows can still happen. I think I'll still have them react to the, what the audience is saying, and maybe even the audience can, like, before people would, like, give out ideas, and then I'd use those as a DM. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm not locking anybody out. I'm just saying that that's how the D&D show is going to go. It's going to be people can talk and come up with what they think is going on in the story or, like, ideas for where to go or whatever. The comments on the situation but then uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be busy being five people so it's gonna be kind of hard to talk to chat when I am five different people and I'm trying to DM I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to do it I did it like a year ago and I had some fun fan interactions during it but I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work It's a big risk doing D&D for a whole month because I'm like, I don't know if people are going to want to watch that and I don't know if I'm even going to be able to do it for a whole month. I feel like my voice is going to break down real fast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All my D&D characters will be act become actual personalities and take over. That's the problem is that we're all going to be talking. I have to, like, talk extra. It's like voice acting for four hours, not just talking on stream. But, yeah, the idea is to do, like, like a season of the Kingdom Hearts show and then do, like, a season of Curse of Strahd. And then maybe, if there's time, do some other stuff. And some days we might do two games of D&D &D in a row, if I'm really feeling it. Like, we'll do an hour and a half game, and then we'll be like, I want to know what happens next, and we'll do the second one. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But, yeah, when you do a D&D &D game, and you play all five people, it's uh, pretty bad for your throat very different than just playing a video game because there's a lot of time between talks when you're playing a game where you hit stuff and the game has dialogue but when you're every voice in the stream it's a lot 
Um, actually, no. I don't think so. We have a druid in... I think in Beneath the Ground there's a druid. I think so. I'm trying to remember. Do I have... I have... Well, I made 50 characters for the stream. When I was first doing D&D, &D, I made 50 whole characters. And they used to all be able to pop up as... Uh, <laughs> They used to all be able to pop up as um, as images. They would all be like PNGs when they talked, and my voice, you know, the voice would change, and they would be there. But now that they're like full people, there's only like eight of them now. There used to be fifty. I have to make three new ones for the Kingdom Hearts one. I already have them named and everything. I can't wait. So that'll probably be the first few D and D streams. I might do like some other stuff first. Yeah, literally 50. I made literally 50 D&D &D characters. They all had names and concept art and they were animated in the in the stream. I took a month off of streaming in January and I created all of them and gave them PNGs where they could animate. And then I had the idea of, ooh, what if they had full faces? And then I made eight because I'm crazy because I'm an insane lunatic who's obsessed with creating things. And when I'm uh, stuck on something, I gotta do it. And because I always over-prepare and overdo things. My guess is probably an un uh, uh, undiagnosed anxiety disorder is probably the source of all that. <laughs> but yeah, I made it. I made a bunch of... Made a bunch of characters. I really want to do the D&D show. I wanted to do it for like two years. I did it last Christmas and the Christmas before. And I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to do more of it. So when the Kingdom Hearts is done, I'm doing it. I'm, I might take like a week off before or like... I don't know. <laughs> I made... That wasn't the only thing I made. That was just one of the things I made. I made that. I also created all the pals in their like full physical forms and how they work on stream. I I wrote some stuff. I was trying to write like a Markiplier esque, um, like like a like in space with Markiplier type thing, but I didn't have enough time to finish it. So I, that's still in the back of my head. Um, I created a different version of my model at the time bunch of stuff it was a lot i made it I, oh i completely switched over from streamlabs to obs and completely remade all my scenes and i bought a mixer and set that up during that month i get a lot done when i take a month off i didn't really take any time off i just instead of streaming i did all that it's the amount of things i can do when i'm not streaming when you spend four hours a day streaming and then you stop and you do something else suddenly you can get a lot of work done you make a lot of stuff. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm a mad scientist. I'm a lunatic. I'm a crazy man. Making insane stuff. Can't help it. It fuels me. Um, but yeah, so that's the idea, though, is to do a hour and a half show. <laughs> yeah, I know how that feels. I'm super stubborn, too. I mean, you can tell from the stream. <laughs> I used to do a thing where every, like, every three years or so, I would completely change my entire life. I did that a lot. Like, move, go somewhere else, get a different job, new whole everything. I would, like, change everything. Only YouTube has stopped me from doing that. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. 
I would say don't, but I, I've learned at this point that I can't control people. People are gonna do what they're gonna do. I'm just here to provide a place to entertain you. <laughs> yeah, do something with all those points. What you should do is you should like, once you hit 100K, you should like save up like 25 and then just do a bunch of shit with it. You know? Damn. Damn. Creepy, scary, very scary. I know it's a bit, but it's scary. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd actually have fun doing that. Make me tell a hundred story. Is that how many points you have? God damn. Hell yeah. Make me sing karaoke for 10 streams. Just to annihilate my voice. Oh my god. It's a hundred points for a fucking story? Oh my god. Why did I make it so low? I'm, I guess I'm just desperate to get people to make me to tell stories. <laughs> Nobody ever does karaoke either, but I'm like, I don't know if I can even handle multiple karaoke's. My throat is always messed up on these streams. I gotta keep it together. I always wake up right before the stream now. I'm trying not to, but it's not good for your throat to wake up and immediately sing. And people can tell me just just it's easier to tell me to tell a story than it is for me to stretch oh my god well stretch is a pre-made one it's one of the default twitch ones and i guess that's the default price so i guess i'm just not pricing well you know it says it automatically adjusts prices and i'm like it doesn't do that it's never done that I never know what the hell to price anything. I'm like, I don't know how much a channel point is really worth. Yeah. Well, maybe they're cheap because I kept lowering them. Because I'm like, people aren't doing them. Maybe I should lower them. Maybe they're too expensive for people. Those are mostly for like, like, they're supposed to be for people who've been for, here for a long time. But it almost feels like they're for new people. It's like, it feels like the newer somebody is, or like the less often they're around, the more they'll use those. It's like the novelty wears off after like two streams. Yeah. True. At least a hundred, uh, more than a hundred days. I've also been here for a long time. It's pretty crazy, I know. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the time. It definitely helps. There's a lot of long nights with nobody watching. It's like, oh, at least somebody's here. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes I get other viewers. People come in and out all the time. I just don't mention it. It's impossible to know who's here. I wish Twitch would just tell me the exact names of who's watching so that I could fucking know if I had repeat viewers or not. Like, YouTube has a unique viewers statistic. Like, why isn't that on Twitch? Where it's like, this is a, sp a new person watching. Just so I know. Yeah. <laughs> I probably have a different point. I should use the fucking things. I've never used one. I wonder if I could do that. If I could give myself the thing. I thought about, like, putting all the, uh, the pals on rotation. Like having a timer that's like this amount of time before Flem shows up. But I don't know if it would be confusing or not. Or if it would be worth it. Yeah, I do have infinite points. I could just do one. I never think to do it. It might be nice to like do like a random. I'd have to figure out how to set that up. Like a, this thing goes off randomly if nobody pays for it type thing. Just to zhuzh up the show, so I don't get stuck playing Kingdom Hearts like this, wandering around in a circle, bouncing off walls for two hours. 
I've been done for 30 minutes. Like, I should have stopped 30 minutes ago, but I just keep talking. I don't want to continue until tomorrow, and I just keep leveling. I thought, hey, since I'm here and we're chatting, might as well. Sometimes there's a perfect moment to end the stream and you don't do it, and you just keep going, and you're like, I should probably end this. That's a good idea. Put them all on a wheel and then after a certain amount of time, spin it. Hmm. Maybe. I'll have to think on it a little bit. I got some ideas now. I have all these ideas, but I never implement them because I'm so fucking busy all the time. I got one day off of work this week. Today. And that's it. <laughs> And tomorrow I get four days off. It's fucking random. My job is insane. It's an insane job. If I describe the details of it, it would make no fucking sense. It's a joke of a job. I do it just so that I have time to stream. And make stuff. At a certain point, I might have to actually get a real job. And, like, actually do real work. And not be able to do this. Now I make donuts. Which is basically the same thing. <laughs> I actually really like it. It's really easy. I'm really good at it. I'm too good. I get done like three, two hours early and then I sit in the bathroom and write. Pretend that I'm still there. They don't care. <laughs> I get done super fast. I do take one or two donuts sometimes. The other day, because it's uh, the bakery's in a grocery store, so the other day someone put in like the break room cooler, they put like ten, like a hundred Arizona iced teas in there, like a whole case. I guess it like broke or something, like somebody dropped it or like something. So someone just threw an entire case in the in the in the like office cooler that everybody has for drinks, and I just like stole like five at the end of the night. I just took them and shoved them in my pockets and left. I was like, all right, these are mine now. Anybody can have these, there's no limit. Just taking them all, they're mine. Fuck everybody else. My Arizona iced teas. They're good. But usually there's water in there and someone was like, fuck it, here's like an entire case of Arizona's. I'm like, those are good. Those are really good drinks. The super sugar. Ah. Yeah, I'm not even that big a donut guy. I just make them. I'll eat... What I eat is one single chocolate cake donut with nothing on it. That's like the only thing I allow myself to eat. Because if I ate donuts at work, I would fucking die. But I allowed myself to have one. Occasionally. If I didn't eat dinner or something. I'm like, alright, I'll eat a single chocolate cake donut. With nothing on it. Yeah. I used to work at Panera and make bagels. And then I moved to the void in the middle of fucking nowhere. And the only place I could work was making donuts at a grocery store in the middle of the night. It's like very far away too. It's like a half an hour, like half an hour on a highway in just pitch black where there's a million fucking deer everywhere. They, the deer suck. Deer suck. I'm just gonna say it right now. They're everywhere. Every two weeks, there's just another dead one in the middle of the road, and you're like, this is horrible. I hate this. This is traumatizing. Stop walking in the fucking roads, deer. Just get out of the road. Stop it. You're stupid. How have you not learned this yet? In Japan, the deer walk right up to you. They understand traffic laws. They wait at the fucking lights. Why can't you do that, deer? Why are you so dumb? Not every deer, just the deer here. Specifically the deer community in my, in the void. Void deer. Stop it, okay? Stop walking on the fucking highway and getting hit by cars. I hate it. I hit one, other people have hit them. It's awful. It's a horrible experience. Stop it. Stop crossing the damn road. Stupid deer. I care for your safety and I'm upset at you and that is why I'm calling you stupid. I don't believe you are stupid, I'm just saying stop it. Stop going into the middle of the goddamn street, you moron! 
You don't know how many times I've had to freaking hit the brakes and like fucking almost swerve off the road because of stupid ass deer every night. Risking my damn life is some fucking deer. I flipped my car once. It's the middle of a snowstorm. There's a deer. Better stop my fucking car and turn and flip my goddamn car over so the deer doesn't die. They suck. They suck. They're the fucking morons. Stop it. Stop being so goddamn adorable and stupid. Anyway, I actually, they, I got so pissed off at Deer that I made a board game. I made a literal, like, it's a card game. And it's called Fuck Deer. I did that. I made that a long time ago. I don't remember the rules. They're written down somewhere. But I straight up made a card game that's like, Fuck Deer. It's about, it's about, the card game is about driving to work and then Deer hit your car. Because it happens so many goddamn times that I'm like, I'm gonna make a fucking board game. So other people can experience this pain. I haven't made board games in a while. I used to make them all the time. I study game design. Because I'm a cool nerd. <laughs> now you stuck with the same name, you can't change it? Damn. What would you change it to? Damn. Damn. You don't have like an email that you can do? Like do the I forgot my password email thingy? Because that happened to me with my Xbox account a long time ago. When I was a kid, I made an Xbox account. And they I lost the email. Like, the email that was used as the recovery email didn't exist anymore by the time I tried to, like, change my password. So I literally got locked out of my gamer score. It was, like, 30,000 gamer score and, like, five arcade games. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get back into it. It was made so long ago. It was made on, a, like, a 360 that like, I couldn't get into my own saves. <laughs> just like a bunch of Halo maps I made, like my entire childhood making Halo 3 maps, just gone. It's crazy. Gotta have multiple backup emails. Gotta do two factor. Just sad. 30,000 gamer score. I used to really care about that number. Now I'm like, whatever. What is it at now? I haven't checked in a while. 62? That's pretty good. Not that great. Could be better. Stop caring years ago. But you can fix it and you're just too lazy to change it? Damn. I get that. Alright, I need to stop playing now. 62,000 gamers go. My cousin has like 200 or something thousand. He's obsessed. We used to like race to see who would win and I would always be in first place. And then one year I went, I retire. And he, I went, you win now. You can beat me now. I'm done. I'm going to college. I'm done. I'm not doing this gamer score shit anymore. We've been racing each other for like 10 fucking years. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's less than the channel points you have. But yeah. I was like, you win, and I just stopped, stopped caring. I used to be really into it. We used to like race each other. I'd be like, oh, he's catching up. I better beat him. I better get a, get ahead. Who's gonna win the race? Mm. I used to be at like 30, 50k at the beginning of this year. I've been playing a lot of games. What a great idea though, gamer score. Such a good idea. And like really gets you to want to play more games and compete with people. It's like a leaderboard for all of your games together. That's genius. G 
genius. Alright, I need to fucking get out of here. I don't know. Where's the save? I need to leave. Let me free. Let me kill this damn T-Rex. I gotta be strong enough now, right? I mean, I've been fighting for like two hours. The name of this stream is just gonna be Grinds in the World That Never Was. <laughs> it's a leaderboard for the least amount of grass touch. That's good. That's some good shit. Yep. What's grass? What's that? Is that a dance in Fortnite? <laughs> People actually touch that stuff? Wow, I haven't touched grass in a long time. Oh my god, I'm level 37. Holy shit, I've been grinding my ass off. Yeah, yeah, what's the what's the speed run record for grass? Has somebody ever done that? I'm sure somebody's done a speed run of touching grass. <laughs> to grass any percent glitchless run don't gotta have no glitches can't use any glitches in your grass touching it doesn't count if you buy the grass on Amazon and have it shipped to your house no you gotta actually touch the grass it's crazy <laughs> that would be a fun one trying to do speed runs that nobody's ever done before that could be fun never thought about that yeah, it's gotta be real grass. Can't be any of that AstroTurf shit. That would be a fun thing to do. I'd have to pick games that are like nobody's ever speed ran and that are like super easy to beat. Just become the master of that. Cause that's a loophole. You could become speed running master in anything. Yeah, no bringing your chair with you. All right. Ugh. What level is Sora? Sora's at 37. What's Riku? 33. Oh, he's still four behind because he missed two bosses. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Tomorrow we will beat this game. Um, we're going to go in. We're at the appropriate level for Sora. Riku's almost there. By the time he fights through everything, he should be there. He might do like a little bit of baby grinding at the beginning, and then we're going to beat this game. We're going to beat the whole thing. Figure out what the hell is going on with this time travel shit. That line that they said about time traveling, that Sora and Riku time traveled to Destiny Islands at the beginning. What the fuck? What was that? What does that mean? I didn't hear that line before. That changes everything. What does that mean? Are we dreaming or not? I don't understand. <laughs> Help me, Kingdom Hearts, please. What are you doing? The lore. It's too much. I have to write essays about this shit, man. It's too complicated. Wish somebody else could explain it to me so that I could write an essay based on what they wrote. Because <laughs> like, it's so hard to figure out. Uh... But yeah, just a little refresher before we go. Um, so Sora and Riku were supposed to do a test, but then they they thought that the test was going to sleep, and then they would go into the sleeping worlds and open them. But it turns out Xehanort watched them and was actually manipulating them behind the scenes, and they might have not even gone to any of the places. They were going to a bunch of random places. Um, and maybe they time-traveled into the past to do the test. I'm still not clear on that. And they're still in a dream. I guess. So I don't know how the time travel works. 
Maybe it's you go into a dream and then you become a heart and you go into your past self and it's all a dream and your past self doesn't know. But I'm like, is any of this really happening then? I don't know. Fucking weird. Kingdom Hearts is weird. Weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go. This was nice. Stream crashed in the middle, but hey, that's what happens. I'm actually glad it crashed. <laughs> Nothing never happens. Yeah. Um, I'm glad it crashed because this second half is just going to be called VTuber Grinds or whatever. Because that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah, the first half is just I beat up the chicken. I grind to beat the chicken. Then I beat the chicken up and then this half is alright, just fucking wandering around. <laughs> like two hours. Welcome to the Aloni channel. There we go. Perfect. That's a good name. I'm copying and pasting that right now. That's the name. VTuber Grinds Gone Sexual. Oh. Good job. Will you make it to 100k before I beat Kingdom Hearts 3? At this rate, maybe. So we're on day 14. There are 31 days in this month, which means we have... 1, and 7, 14, 30, 14, 10, 14, 16, 17. 17 more days. Yeah, probably if you don't miss any more. 17 more days left. Can I beat this game, watch the movie, play the demo of 0.2, which is like about 6 hours, beat Kingdom Hearts 3, buy and beat Melody of uh, um, memory of mel uh, melody of memory. It's called. Can I do that? Can I do all five things in seventeen <laughs> in seventeen days? Maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be close. Will I do it? Will I complete my goal of beating all the games? Probably not. I don't want to do any more than two months. Two months already feels like too much. One month was enough. It's insane that I just was like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep going until I'm done. It's not even getting views anymore, I'm just doing it anyway. <laughs> you got 2k today in four hours. Hmm. Yeah, you'll make it. You'll make it. That's four, eight, four times 17. Shh, calculator, calculator. Sixty-eight. Yeah, I think you'll get enough. I think you'll get enough. I mean, based on my bad estimate, you're gonna get like sixty thousand. So it's probably more like forty thousand since you missed the first hour. So my guess is you're gonna get forty thousand points by the end. So you'll be at like one twenty by then. All this, if you watched every stream. So even if you don't watch every stream, you're probably going to make it to 100k before I beat this. Good luck. I hope I beat it all. Will I to complete this marathon? Yes. Will it happen in the next 17 days? Oh, oh God. No. <laughs> oh. You're committing to something that I don't know if you should. I'm glad you're having fun, I guess. Like, damn. That's commitment. Well, at least I got... At least I got some devoted fans, I guess. I didn't... When did I say anything about 100k in general? I don't remember ever saying that you should do 100k or something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so much. All right, whatever. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Anyway, um, ah, <laughs> uh, nice. All right, well, I'm gonna go now because I need to eat and drink an Arizona iced tea. And edit the four fucking VODs I have to make now. 
like to do the thing for the four bot the big clip posts to twitter i can do it all blah 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 whatever it's my only night off i'm probably just gonna fall asleep after all this good night sleep tight see ya hasta luego Why do you stay up so late? Sleep. Bye. <laughs> Bye.